Welcome to the Hariru Element, partnership building to engage effectively with Māori communities. According to the Treaty of Waitangi principles, the essence of a good partnership is where both parties are valued. Each has an important part in the relationship and both strive collectively toward more equitable or transformative outcomes. Effective sexual and reproductive health promotion with Māori communities requires a partnership in which the community retains a sense of ownership and control of the project, the community's cultural identity is enhanced, the partnering organisation implements the principles of the treaty, and the expertise and leadership of key people from the community are incorporated. Getting to the point where both parties are ready to form a partnership takes time. The timing has to be right for both parties and the values and beliefs of both parties have to be a good fit. In any case, sexual and reproductive health promoters should tread gently and whatever the outcome, see it as a valuable learning experience. Once a partnership is established, all aspects of the project plan, aims and objectives, methods, resources, budget, outcomes and evaluation should be discussed and agreed collaboratively using the expertise of both parties. Promoters need to be able to identify and account for the structural determinants of sexual and reproductive health and incorporate strategies into the project plan that foster and promote Māori community control and advance Māori values and approaches to sexual and reproductive health. When developing the budget, appropriate levels of koha should be allocated for key members of the community who collaborate on the planning and implementation of the project. When collaborating with the Māori community, you remain manuhiri, a visitor with obligations and responsibilities for the duration of the partnership. Primarily, these are about showing respect, treating gently, and being accountable to the community. On that note, promoters who are new to working in collaboration with Māori communities are advised to seek advice and support from their professional bodies, a Māori advisor, or associated Māori health unit. If the cultural support you need cannot be provided, it may be better to refer the project to an organisation more skilled in that area rather than risk compromising your relationship with the community. Throughout the partnership building process, maintain a practice of critical self-reflection on your personal values, beliefs and understandings, your obligations to the Māori community and your commitment to building your cultural competency and health literacy. Critical self-reflection is an important ethical aspect of your promotion work and is essential to developing the skills to engage more effectively with Māori communities. Key points to remember. A good partnership is one where both partners are valued and transformative outcomes are sought. Effective partnership with Māori communities is built on respect for community control, commitment to enhancing cultural identity, and incorporating community leadership and expertise. All aspects of the project plan are discussed and agreed collaboratively. Koha is an important cultural element that should be budgeted for. Manuhiri obligations are observed at all times. If lack of cultural advice and support is an issue, think carefully about proceeding with the project. Critical self-reflection is an ethical practice essential to engaging effectively with Māori communities. <laughs>